Hi, this is Dr. Carol Farver. I'm Director of Pulmonary Pathology in the Department of Pathology at the Cleveland Clinic. Today I'm going to show you an interesting case that we receive commonly in our consultation service of usual interstitial pneumonia. That's one of the idiopathic interstitial pneumonias. It's important to make this diagnosis because now we have some therapies that can stop what used to be a, a fatal disease. So let's look at this case. This is a 65-year-old white male smoker. He's had six to eight months of shortness of breath. He comes in to see his pulmonologist. The pulmonologist listens to his lungs. He hears his crackles and wheezing, has an imaging study that shows bilateral basal, basal scarring, has a thoracoscopic lung biopsy that shows this pathology. At a low power, you can see a patchy type of fibrosis. That means not all the lung is involved. On the right side of the screen, there's essentially a normal lung. On the left side of the screen, you can see the fibrosis present and even some early uh, significant scarring in the left, left lower part. In general, we look for three major pathologic characteristics to make the diagnosis of usual interstitial pneumonia. The first one is this patchy fibrosis. In some textbooks, you'll hear it called a temporally heterogeneous pattern of injury. That simply means that the injury takes place at different times. The second feature is uh, down here, and it's called the fibroblastic foci. Again, on the right side of your screen, you'll see some normal lung. On the left side of your screen, you'll see significant scarring. And then that interface, you actually see the fibroblastic foci. It's this pale blue, what we would call myxoidy looking uh, areas right here. Fibroblasts and then epithelium that's re-epithelializing this injured surface of this alveolar space. These fibroblastic foci, when they're in the right position between the scarring and the normal lung, are characteristic of UIP. So we have the patchy fibrosis, the, the, the fibroblastic foci, and finally, we have in the lower part, where there was the significant scarring, this what we would call microscopic honeycomb change. That simply means that this lobe, or this lobule, which you see at a, a fairly low power here, has remodeled airways, remodeled to the extent that there's no longer alveoli present, there's collagen and fibrosis all around them. And the small airways have remodeled into these uh, um, airways that now contain mucus, that's why the, what the term honeycomb comes into play, and they are characteristic of severe scarring that is seen characteristically in UIP. You can see a very good example here of this remodeled airway. Again, note there's no really alveolated lung in the area, therefore there's really no oxygen being exchanged. So again, at a low power one can make a diagnosis of UIP, of patchy fibrosis, you see the fibroblastic foci in that intervening area here of injury, and finally the microscopic honeycomb change. Thank you very much.